Hello all my merrymakers. I am Becca and it is time for your weekly Wednesday work in progress check-in bar. Check-in bar? Okay, sometimes the brain... <laughs> um, so for any of you who did not see, I finished uh, this brioche cable hat and uh, added a removable palm um, for Miss Mama G and I thought it would only be fair if I made one for Rusty and she let me know that Rusty would like a rainbow one too so I started want this second this second one for Rusty now this one I did a lot of yarn manipulation to make sure it was a perfect rainbow. And this light blue is actually a different yarn entirely from my stash. Because I wanted there to be some distinction between them, uh, I'm not going to do any yarn manipulation for this one. Um, and we'll see how they uh, look different. Um, I'm already on row... I want to say seven. No. Let me check my row counter real quick. Please hold. I'm on row nine of the brioche cable um, of this hat. So um, hopefully I can continue to work on it and make good progress on it. Um, and in case you all didn't see my community post I did contact yarn inspirations about possibly doing a tutorial for that hat because let's just say the instructions are not very clear at first um, and this is coming from somebody who lives by patterns like the people who can make things without patterns just astound me like there are people who are do and there are people who do not and I just cannot without a pattern um but anyway uh, and they got back to me and they said yes by all means you could do a tutorial on this pattern you just have to um, mention that your inspirations is the source of the pattern and include a link to the pattern in your tutorial. So I'm super excited to hopefully do that after the Oolong Tea Shawl. Now, <laughs> seeing as how long it's taking me to do the Oolong Tea Shawl, because I'm doing about three rows per week, um, it might be a little bit long in the making, um, but I, once I, I really am, will be excited to um, hopefully do that tutorial next um so let's see goals for this week um I would really like to finish this hat um I do have to start shooting the next three rows of the oolong tea shawl so um I am going to follow the advice given to me by Patricia from um Oh gosh, I just blinked on her channel name. I am so sorry, Patricia. I will make sure to to at you, though. Um, although that's hard to do if I can't remember your channel name. Anyway, I digress. Um, anyway, she suggested to to uh, video the tutorial in pieces. Um, as the rows get longer and longer because it's going to take me longer and longer to do the steps in between each row um, which I felt like that was great advice um, I am going to be actually going to smart tomorrow they are not having a special sale but they have torsos <laughs> mannequin torsos um, and they have a bunch of them for like $55, which according to my friend who is in the fashion industry, that's literally half off. Um, and since all I have is a head, I kind 
uh, to model things on. I would like a body as well. So, you know, it's a little bit of a, a pricier uh, item than I am used to purchasing, but it's well worth the investment. So that's what's going on in my life this week. Uh, so I hope you will join me in on Monday for Rose, I think it would be seven, eight through 10, whatever rose we're on for the Oolong Tea Shawl. In the meantime, my merrymakers, make more things you marry. Ciao.